Good morning and welcome to Supercars of London at 4 a.m. And first stop is I have got to pick Steve Booker up. The lights have just gone in the car. It is freezing cold. No one that is attending tonight is going to be awake at this time, apart from me and Steve because we're driving. We're the idiots that are driving. Whilst I wait for the windscreen to try and de-ice, let me explain the challenge of today. We need to be in Cologne, checked into the hotel by 3 p.m. The time is 4 a.m. We've got four hours. I've got four hours to get down into Surrey, pick Steve up, drive to the Euro Tunnel, hopefully there's no traffic, get on the Euro Tunnel, head into France, then into Belgium, then into the Netherlands, then into Germany and into Cologne. If we get stuck in more than an hour's traffic, because of the time that I had to book the Euro Tunnel, because this is also last minute, if we get stuck in any more than an hour's worth of traffic, we're gonna be late. This is the quietest I've ever seen the M25. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm just cruising on cruise control, heated seats on, got the temperature of the car up to 27.5 degrees, the hottest it can go. No traffic so far, I'm feeling positive. If you can't already tell, we're here at the Euro Tunnel and Steve is here. And How's we've it? made it, we've made it, we've made it. The Ford is behind us. Uh, how's the journey? Good. How's yeah. my driving? Really good. I mean, it's I was it was smooth, I almost fell asleep. <laughs> also, we're like three hours early. <laughs> we've got an earlier train. So I booked onto the 8 a.m. Um, and we're on the 7.15, meaning that we're gonna get into France a little bit earlier. But that could mean that we touch rush hour traffic. Oh. In France. That's not cool. Stage one of the journey is complete. We have made it onto the Euro Tunnel. We have made the earlier train. This diesel engine is a beast. We have made it onto the earlier train. I reckon this car could tow this train. <laughs> it's that good with the all wheel drive system. It could tow the train. So we're gonna end up in Calais at around quarter to nine. 8.45, because it's an hour ahead, oh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an hour ahead, so we get to France, try and get to Cologne on time for the uh, for the event. Now, the one thing with Cologne is the junctions are incredibly dodgy, and they've got a lot of hidden speed cameras. I don't know if you knew that about no, Cologne. I didn't know that. I've got caught speeding in Cologne. Have you? Yeah, and there's a lot of hidden speed cameras. So even if we're late, or running late, we can't speed, because you could get snapped, and you could get caught. Well, it's lucky we got the early... Uh, exactly. Fingers crossed there's no traffic anywhere in Europe so that we can just cruise on through, get into our hotel. Yeah, no traffic in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's no cars on the road today. What's the right word if you're di disembarking? Yeah, disembarking. Yeah. Disembarking. Okay, we're disembarking from our Euro Tunnel. My Euro. No, yes, my, yeah, 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 yeah. my Euro Tunnel. Literally, that was the the quietest I've ever been on a Euro Tunnel. Really? There's like six cars in in our oh, section. Oh yeah, 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 totally. It was like, Usually it's like back to back, isn't it, yeah. or front to back? Yeah. So we are now. Oh yes, mate. Ooh. Lovely sun. Should have bought sunglasses again. Yeah. So it's 9 a.m. and Satnav is saying that we're going to arrive at 2 p.m., which means we've got an hour, give or take, to get stuck in traffic if need be. I don't know how you're so away. <laughs> oh, this. My monster energy drink. Oh, I forgot that you downed all that. <laughs> On the tunnel. I just need like a 20 minute nap and then I'm going to be golden. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. The one thing that we also realised, much to our... I thought I was going to be quite smug about it, but I'm not at all. Is the fact that everyone that's getting on a train, uh, flying to Cologne, yeah. we worked out by the time we're halfway to Cologne, so Within two hours time, yeah. that's when people are going to be leaving their house to get to the airport. We're going to be shattered tonight. I think our vlogs are going to go downhill pretty yeah. quickly. I mean, already mine. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. done two clips. Steve tried. Yeah. Steve tried vlogging, and uh, I think you just forgot English. I just, I just I <laughs> forgot that I could talk to a camera. There's a French sign if you want to film the French yeah, sign. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Who would have thought that in November, 
need sunglasses. And I know Sam said in one of his latest videos that I don't wear sunglasses. The reason why I don't wear sunglasses, especially on camera, is because I like connecting with my audience and having my eyes there. If like, you're behind sunglasses, you could be looking anywhere. I could be true. So uh, it's the same with personal as well. If I'm talking to someone in person and I'm wearing sunglasses, which is rare, I always take them off. Oh, I do that actually. Because I do that. Yeah, yeah. I just I just get a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, when you see someone wearing sunglasses inside, like in a shopping no, centre, no, no, cool. wearing sunglasses, not cool. so uncool. But now you kind of need. This is when you need sunglasses. We are doing so well that I decided to fill this car up. Actually, uh, the guys needed a toilet, so I decided that I was going to put diesel in this car. We've got plenty of fuel to get us to the hotel, uh, but once we got to Cologne, we'll probably have to fill up before our journey back tomorrow. So I was like, I might as well put fuel in now. We can get to Cologne and be very comfortable. We'll probably stop somewhere around here on the way back tomorrow. It seems totally crazy that we've got like a seven hour drive all the way to Cologne for one event to drive seven hours back. Uh, but at the same time, we're having a lot of fun. We have hit Germany. I didn't really want to film Belgium or Netherlands. Not that they're uninteresting countries, it's just the roads that we're driving on are pretty dull. But the German motorways, however, are interesting and exciting. When I picked this car up, I read that the top speed was 124 miles an hour, and now we're on the autobahn. Nice downhill. 115. We might hit it, we might hit it. Oh, I'm gonna have to back off. Ah, oh, the BMWs, let me go. Right, we've got one more stretch. Come on, 120. We're on 120. Come on. I'm trying to get the... Ah, oh, I've had to back off. <laughs> I think maybe we just crept over 120. 120, yeah? Yeah. But yeah, that's not bad, I'll take that. The speedo might be a little inaccurate, it might be closer to sort of 100, maybe closer to 115, like 116, 117, but not bad. I'll be happy, we had a good run there of a little nice downhill. We've got the right sort of temperatures outside to hopefully cut through the air. We have just turned up at our hotel and we've got a stunning location of roadworks. Uh, but past the roadworks, you can see the famous Cologne Cathedral and the river Rhine, I think is the best pronounce pronunciation. Uh, but anyway, we have made it. We're gonna check into the hotel. We've actually smashed it. Let me just check what the time is. The time is quarter past 12 um, UK time. So it's quarter past one here. So most people won't have even taken off in London if they're flying to Cologne for the event this evening. Oh, finally, I've made it to my hotel room, which um, I have to say is incredibly spacious, but the the best thing about it is the view overlooking the River Rhine and the cathedral is right there. That is pretty badass. After an incredibly quick power nap, I am back and hopefully better than ever. With, behind me we have the Team Sky Ford Mustang and in front of me there is 2,000 people in a massive warehouse ready for a massive Ford Go Further event but also for the unveiling, the global unveiling of the Ford Fiesta. Quick selfie with the Lego Ford GT. But here is the real thing. Dude, and uh, he's having a quick selfie. Mate, the white is unbelievable. Hold on, that's an unbelievable you, I, I need to... Mate, it's actually an unbelievable part. You like it? I haven't seen it in white. Have you not? I've only seen the blue like renders of it. Oh, like, yeah. I, I've never seen it. In real life, so I it's saw, all of the dimensions. Yeah, it's unbelievable, man. Check this room out. I feel like I'm in some sort of mega Eurovision contest that is being hosted by Ford. There is stage one behind me, and there's all sorts of different flags all the way around the room. This is one of the largest continuous LED screen on both sides. Mate, I'm trying to ring you. <laughs> Scared me there. I was like, Where the hell is that? We are sat over there. Our table's there. Yeah, all right. All right. Um, and basically, there is going to be the announcement of the new Fiesta, and there is going to be cars coming down this little road here. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm so glad that we made this event. I'm so glad there was no traffic on this event. And I'm just excited to get this underway. So I'm going to take a seat and just film as much as possible and hope that this is an awesome show. I know it will be. Thank you for 
and endure the crowds and get a close-up at the uh, Ford Fiesta ST line, which I think is here, I hope it's here. Anyway, the um, Ford GT is here. Here we go, this is the Fiesta ST line. I've been corrected many times on social media because um, I got overexcited and thought it was gonna be the ST, but it still looks super sporty. And if this is anything to go by in terms of where they're going in terms of design, uh, the actual Fiesta ST that is coming later this year is going to be one mean machine. One thing that I'd like to see is extended wheel arches, both front and rear. Ford, if you're listening, extended wheel arches out there and there, please. <laughs> I mean, this has been an incredibly long day, up at half past three. And the time is now half past midnight, half past 11 UK time. The bus driver decided to take a detour, went off-roading, back bumper fell off the car. What a nightmare. Awesome day. So many memories. Um, and yeah, now I'm absolutely shattered. Thank you for watching. Sorry there isn't any energy in the sign-off. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you haven't, and I will see you back in England.